Hey everyone, in this quick tip, I wanted to cover something I set out to do not too long ago, which was to figure out an initial component count for a design I had consolidated using generative design. In short, I wanted to know how many bodies made up the original chassis subassembly I just showed. This doesn't show up in properties, so my first thought was to make a quick drawing and use a bill of materials to figure this out. This came up short, however, because the method overlooks multi body components, such as this catch all chassis hardware subassembly that is made up of at least 50 bodies. There are additional bomb tools that you could implement here that might work, such as Open Bomb, Bomber, and CSV Bomb, but making a drawing just to get a body count is really kind of overkill. Make sure to check out some of those other apps in the App Store, but for now we're going to try to stick with native fusion functionality. The next method I'm going to implement will use some selection tools, but before I try that, I want to visually filter for just the subassembly I'm trying to count. Isolate works well here. After that, I'll use the selection tools, and in this case, the select by size option, which when turned all the way up, you'll be able to quickly deduce the body count of 87. So that gave me what I was looking for, an ability to tout the 86 part reduction thanks to the generative design. But what about if you just want a quick count of your entire assembly? I learned this method from a little YouTube channel called Vintogaten. If you haven't seen the crazy cool things Martin is doing over there, it's worth checking out. Not that he needs our promotion. Anyway. At the beginning of the video I've linked in the card now, he shows this method off that uses text commands to get a count for the entire assembly. It's really pretty simple, but it requires that you turn on a menu that isn't on by default, and you need to know the command, component.counts. You'll also need to decipher this a little bit. Leaf occurrences here basically means components. So in this case, the whole assembly has 271 components and 303 bodies, as well as some information on visible part counts and even material overrides. Make sure to watch the rest of his video if you work with large assemblies because he covers some best practices and techniques anyone should know if you're pushing fusion as hard as he is. In the meantime, I'll unisolate this design and wish you all a great week. Make sure to subscribe if this helped.